Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I'll be covering the configuration for setting up a PLC ES0808P Maple Modular PLC with an IOSA0400 RTD module and connecting a PT100 RTD sensor while utilizing the control software Maple Logic. Here are some examples for wiring an RTD sensor to a Maple PLC in an RTD module for a two wire RTD sensor, a three wire RTD sensor, and a four wire RTD sensor. You can also find these diagrams on the how to read temperature using an RTD sensor tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Now back in Maple Logic, the first thing you'll do is of course choose the Maple Modular PLC ES when starting a new project. And then you would just right click on program, select new program, and then select a scan program and then name that program and then hit OK. Now here I have my program named Temperature Reading and you can see that I have some ladder diagram logic here. This ladder diagram setup is going to be very similar to the how to read temperature using a thermocouple video and tutorial. You can also find that video on the Maple Logic YouTube channel. So you can watch that video as well to get an understanding on temperature reading in Maple Logic. I'm going to start with the same ladder diagram using F10, which is the always on system bit and an application instruction using from, which is referring to the analog input signal. H0001 is referring to slot one on my IO chassis. And then one is the buffer memory for reading channel one from the RTD module. And then D01 is where the memory is being stored. And that is one word. And then you hit OK, and that is all the logic that you'll need here. So at this point, we can just go online with our PLC. So you go to online and then do link plus download plus monitor. Click this. OK, now we're online and you can see the temperature values above the memory register in your application instruction here. This is the reading from the RTD sensor. And I am using a PT100 RTD sensor, and it's reading about 30.3 Celsius or 86.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like the thermocouple setup, this reads as 30.3. It looks like 303, but it actually is reading as 30.3 in your application instruction. So now that we are online, we can configure our RTD module. To do that, go over to the left under your local slot. You can see our RTD module is here, IOSA0400. So double click this. And you can see I have PT100 with a range of 0 to 16,000 configured. Now to configure channel 1, you would double click channel 1. And RTD type, choose the drop down menu here. And you can choose your different types of RTD sensors right here. And I'm using PT100. Select that, and then you can choose your digital value range. I have zero to 16,000 chosen there, and then hit OK. Now, if there are any changes to your configuration, you always have to click right, and then you'll receive a message that says set value is written to PLC, so click OK. Now we're gonna check the status of our RTD sensor, so click status. And you can see that under Celsius and Fahrenheit, it's reading 30 degrees Celsius and about 86 or 87 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that the Celsius reading is reflected in our ladder diagram. I'm going to increase the temperature and then decrease it back down to 30 degrees Celsius. And you'll see the temperature go up and then the temperature go down right here and also in your ladder diagram. So I'm going to increase the temperature and you can see it's increased to about 57 degrees Celsius or 134 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see that is reflected in the ladder diagram. And now I'm going to go back down to 30 degrees Celsius. Now the last thing I'm going to cover, which I went over in the thermocouple video, is the error light on your module, and then clearing that error in your program. An error light will blink on the RTD module if a wire is disconnected, or the temperature exceeds maximum or minimum ranges, for example. So I'm going to disconnect a wire from the module to give you an example and you'll see me doing this on a live camera feed. So now you can see a live camera feed of the RTD module and the PLC. I'm going to disconnect the wire 
and then you will see a red LED error light blink. So I'm going to reconnect the wire. And you can see that the red LED light is still blinking. That's because in your program, you have to click the reset error to clear that light. And it'll also clear the error here in your RTD module status. So I'm gonna hit reset error. And you can see the red LED light stopped blinking and now it's reading zero. But there's no errors now for that RTD modules channel. This is all I'll be covering today. To get more information, please visit the Maple Systems website and view the tutorial page called How to Read Temperature Using an RTD Sensor. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.